so there's this poem that I one of my very favorite poems I'm just going to read it out it's very small and I'm sure all of you know this where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls where words come out from depth of truth where tireless striving stretches its arms towards perfection where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sand of dead habit where the mind is led forward by thee into ever widening thought and action into that heaven of freedom my father let my country awake this is one of my favorite poems by Rabindranath Tagore. Of course, the poem was written in Bengali. It was later on translated in English. This mic is a little tricky, sorry. I'm Elita and um, I'm, a, I'm a singer and a journalist and I'm based in Dhaka in Bangladesh. And today I'm going to talk about influences of literature and music, of powerful words um, that inspire and that encourage us to do what we do in our daily lives. So let's take things a little light. Let's just sit back, relax. If you have brought in a cup of coffee, please uh, feel free to s take a sip or two. And uh, today I have Keith with me on acoustic guitars and Sunny on the cajon, two very famous musicians in Hyderabad. We are collaborating together. Um, so Rabindranath Tagore is one of those influences that I can probably talk about for hours together. I'm not gonna do that, don't worry. I have been given a particular, you know, just a few minutes to talk. I'm a Bengali, and as a Bengali, I've been taught that it's not Rabindranath Tagore, it's Rabindranath Thakur. And I prefer to stick to that, Rabindranath Thakur. Even when I, uh, when I speak uh, in other places, I always tend to uh, say Rabindranath Thakur. So if I do, please do not misunderstand me in any way. His words, um, Rabindranath's words, have inspired me, I think, while I was growing up to move mountains, uh, helped me feel the lover's glances, encouraged me to speak out my beliefs, and so much more. More than anything, I think Rabindranath reminds me of my childhood days and nights when all my family members would snuggle together and listen to his music, listen to his poetry, even try to pick up a few and maybe even sing a few, uh, if possible, that is. See, there are so many stories um, of Rabindranath that we have heard uh, growing up. And God knows if all of them are true or not. But there is one particular story that touched me um, and I think influenced me as well a lot. Um, this is about the time when Rabindranath lost one of his sons, I think probably, uh, I don't know, to some illness. And after about a week after, uh, after the death of uh, uh, it was around after a week and everything was settling down. Uh, Rabindranath's other, he had a lot of children. So his other children, his young nephews, his nieces, uh, the other young um, relatives in his house, they suddenly discovered that there is a unusually beautiful moon in the sky. And <clears throat> they were pleading with their elders in the house that, you know, um, uh, they would like to be, they would like to go into the forest to experience this uh, moon, the moonlight. It was unusually beautiful. It was big and it was, and it, it spread so much light into the forest. And they were also pleading with Rabindranath to accompany them. Rabindranath was still shaken by the death of his son. But then he told uh, the young people that you go ahead, I'll join you. Before going to the forest, he was inspired by something and he took down he, he took a pen and a paper and he started writing a song. Uh, it's a very famous song in, in, in Bengali, obviously. It's Aad Jyotsna Rate Shawai Gache Bone. Jyotsna literally means moonlight in Bengali. Jyotsna is a beautiful word and some people can't even pronounce it. Neither can I. I've, you know, I've, uh, I was going through Google last night, the whole night, just to see how to pronounce this word. It's called Jyotsna. And he actually wrote about Jyotsna and how he still has this Jyotsna, this moonlight in his life, uh, 
and life was actually moving along in its peaceful pace even despite the fact that his son was not there with him life would just go on and that is what he realized um yet another poem that has inspired me from childhood is a very famous song um it's called jodi to dak shune kyo na ashe tobe ekla cholo re recently some bollywood film a bolly a very famous bollywood film kahani actually uh made it more famous but this song has always been uh, a, a part of all uh, our families bengali families because we are taught this song when when we are really young to summarize this song if nobody listens to your voice if they do not respond to your call you must not be distressed you must move alone if there are none to speak out of fear you must scream out your thoughts nevertheless to the world if you are left alone midway and have nobody to walk the path with you fear not ignore the obstacles on the pathways if necessary bleed from the thorns and sharp objects strewn around to stop you from moving but you must still move on and never stop if you find yourself in darkness you find no light to guide you to your destination when there are dark clouds and they tend to frighten you from doing what is right fear not look into the light inside your heart be the flame and shine for yourself and for everybody around झड़ पदले आधार राते दो 
Thank you so much. Thank you.